So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, had a few requests from people um, the last couple of days asking me how we actually test starter motors and what happens to what do they do when they work properly. Um, so this is just the rig that we use here. It looks a bit sort of up in the air, but it's not really. It's just a, a couple of battery uh, terminal clamps. Uh, there's two red wires come out of there. One of them is, is a fairly heavy wire that goes straight onto the solenoid, which is where your battery goes out of your bike. The other one, I've got a little plug there that I keep it covered so that when it's floating around or when I'm getting everything ready, I don't touch anything with it. And the one of the black wires, the heavier black wire, we just earth it out on the starter motor because that's uh, the starter motor actually earths against the alloy of the engine in the bike, and that is, of course, earthed back through the frame, etc., to the battery. There is another extra wire here, just another black earth wire in case we need one for any reason. Uh, if we can't uh, if we can't pick up an earth uh, the way it should work, we can try some other things. And this one here replicates the power from the starter solenoid when it comes through. Now you want to have a pretty good vice. Uh, this has got aluminium jaws on it, this vice. And you want to make sure that the thing's in properly. Because when you hit them, when they're in good nick, they kick. This is a nip and denso starter motor that came out of my uh, R100 GSPD. It is about nine years old. It is in good working order. There's nothing particularly wrong with it other than just normal wear and tear. Um, but I had the opportunity to buy another Nip and Denso brand new at a very decent price. So I took that and I just keep this one as a spare, but I know it works. So this terminal here is the terminal that comes from your starter solenoid. So when you hit the starter button, um, the power goes um, through the solenoid and comes out onto this thing here. Now what happens when you hit this, this pulls this electromagnetic um, setup in here uh, down through there and engages the the, um, the the tooth cog in this end of the starter motor down this end which I've got it in probably upside down but I wasn't thinking about that so in here is the eight eight tooth pinion gear or nine tooth pinion gear depending on which model you have and it's when this solenoid gets pulled in there's a, a kind of a, a shift fork in there that whizzes that forward and sticks it into the ring gear on the flywheel and at the same time, that closes a contactor on the end of here, which then puts your 30 amp power straight through from here to here, in here, into the motor. And that begins the engine turning, the starter engine turning. On these later starter motors, and I, if I thought about this more before I made the movie, I probably would have done it a bit differently. In here, there's an epicyclic reduction gearbox. It's got three cogs around a central cog. Look up ep epicyclic gear animation and you'll see how they work. They provide tremendous torque reduction or reduction through the engine to the turning torque of the motor and they overcome compression issues that you find with Bosch starter motors and they draw a lot less current. Um, so um, this one we know works and this one I'm going to show you and I'm telling you, you will not doubt when you do this, if you if you uh, are wondering if the starter is working, you will know. Now, if you're just hearing that click and you have got a Vallejo starter motor, then there's every chance, if it's a good battery and all you can hear is this banging, clicking sound and nothing, that what happened to this starter motor here if I can get it to shine in there, see that? I showed a photo and a video of it a bit the other day. It's just swept one magnet of a glued set of magnets off the housing and then they crashed into one another and smashed each other to bits because the torque in that motor is substantial. This is the centre gear that goes into the middle of the epicyclic gearbox and that starter motor is Kaputsky. Like the, the nose on the front of it is not too bad. That's the epicyclic gearbox. And, and uh, the Sprague clutch and the and the um, the Bendix gear there, um, they actually work quite fine. There's nothing wrong with them. The solenoid's working too, but the engine has collapsed. You can buy engines for them. Uh, I haven't and I don't, but I you can. But um, there you go. One more try for good luck. Make sure it's still working. Just bring the solenoid in. It in turn will bring in the starter motor and engage the dog. If I can just find it. Goes. And I'm telling you, if you're holding that in one hand, it'll just about rip itself out. So there you go. little lesson in starter motor testing. Ride safely. Stay well.